That's... There's an uh, unnecessary uh, room with these red brands. One red brand's just sitting playing with Fenrir. Right. I'll just say, listen lads, let's have a seat. We'll get a, we'll get a couple of drinks and we'll, we'll talk about stuff. Come on. Let's have a wee seat. Aye. Aye, we'll, we'll, we'll get a seat. Um, The red brands head over. There's only there's only four chairs. Aye, right, we can we can stand. We'll, we'll stand. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over and see my my my, my friend. I'll make sure he's no. Uh, you know, obviously he's a bit. He's a bit new to meeting loads of people. I'm okay. gonna go over and see if he's alright. Luma looks over at him and goes, "Here, mate. That fucking that wolf is. That, that's a, that's a good wolf. Friendly too. Aye." It took a load of time to do this. It took a load of time to do this. Listen, you guys can do it too. What? We can do what? Train, train a wolf? Aye, right. listen, it doesn't take that long. Droop, start dancing. And then I'm going to fucking wink over to Nicket, who's still looking at them. Listen, lads, he started dancing. Here we go. Main show. Head it away. As, as Droop starts, starts with his finger pointing dance, Nicket leans in. I need a dexterity check for the Molotov. Nice. Oh, after all this, Nick it, come on. Fourteen. That's sex, Derity. <laughs> you, you guys wink, and you see Nick it just dive into the room and throw this makeshift um, Molotov, and you see it almost in slow motion just flicking and flicking through. And it just smacks the red brand sitting in the far corner, right in the chest, and just bursts all over them, setting the whole table in fire. Um, setting like two of the other red brands on, the one on the opposite side just falls backwards in his chair. The ones are piloting? Yeah, I need everyone to roll initiative. And then I'll roll the damage for the red brands. Shit rolls tonight, man. Eleven. Uh, I'm gonna do my plus two wisdom for ambusher because I, I would assume that they still don't think we're bad guys. Also, right. so I'm, I'm eighteen for initiative. I'm just doing nails now, and then I'll get yours. Did Fenrir just take my initiative or do I need to roll a d20 for him as well? Uh, just do Fenrir on yours. Right, okay, so Fenrir's my 18 as well then. Oh, fucking hell. The whole time I was uh, rolling those perception checks. Oh, it was deception I was rolling that. Oh no, I did roll perception. I'm supposed to add a d4 on top of that. Are you? I don't know, what Perce did you get for initiative? Uh, 18. Hylian? Um, for, for what? For initiative, initiative. 18. Nick it. 5. Thybrush? 9. And Fenrir was an 18. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do I get to um, attack that Molotov just quickly before we go any further? You wouldn't get it because it's just fire damage over time. The Molotov actually doesn't do right, no problem. any damage other than the fire damage, which I'm just trying to get. The now. No, the reason was just because they wouldn't be expecting a sun combustion like if they were ready for it, but just, they just wanted. Oh, chance my arm, I guess that much. Uh, so that's 2d10 fire damage. Um, yes, please. Why is my dice rolls disappeared? Lock that. <coughs> you taking a picture to us? No. Oh, I was watching. Doing. A highlight of Hamish Watson ah, winning the Six shit, Nations four. Player of the Championship. I was going to ask. Oh, 
That's pathetic. Okay, uh, Arnold, you're up. What would you like to do? Okay, um, I'm going to take a shot at the one on. Is one on fire still alive? Yes. Uh, I've got to take a shot at. Well, come in the room, shoot him with my short bow. Oh, well, attempt to shoot him with my short bow. Okay, what well, one? The one in the far corner? The There's two yeah. There's two you can see trying to like pat the fire yeah. out on them. The, the one I've highlighted. Right, okay, cool. Um, I roll. Don't think I him anyway. Yeah, it's a 13. A 13. Me- no, misses. Yeah, sorry. Do I do um, anything else? Um, and I just, <laughs> I just look at him and go, You look a bit singed, and I cast Vicious Mockery. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, where are you on the map? Oh, sorry. So I was like, came in there. Yep, cool. What do I need to roll for Vicious Mockery? Uh, wisdom save. <laughs> That's a nine. Uh, fails. Uh, so that's two damage. Vicious mockery damage. And then is he on the floor laughing? Or is he on, no, no, he does, he's oh, just oh, that's... psychic damage. Okay. Cool. So you just, you just see him we're trying to tap out the fire and as you, the, the arrow goes past, he pays no mind to it. And then you, you made that comment and he goes, I'm trying to put it out. And um, that brings us to... Oh my god, where's my mouse? Hylian, yeah. you're up. What would you like to do? See, I don't know if they think I'm a bad guy yet, so I'm just gonna... Can I... See, if I shout, oh, you, are you guys alright? I can still do an action, right? Uh, you get... Are you guys alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's one word. You... I'm gonna move over here. I'm, I'm gonna just move over to this side of the room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot. What? You guys, all right? You know, like they yeah. can't really respond actually to their turn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, you guys, all right? I'm gonna be like, I'm, gonna respond, I'm just gonna be like, you guys, all right? Hands behind my thing. And then I'm gonna just take my longbow and just pretend I'm shooting it at those guys and just deliberately miss and hit and hit a wall. Oh, it's over uh, Arno and. Yeah, like, but I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot it like towards see like that basin desk thing in the corner yeah. there. I'll see over here. I'm gonna shoot it like towards over here. Um, just just ro- roll me an, an attack roll with your short bow. Cool. It's not getting AC or anything, but no, I, no, an attack. Oh, a d20. Sorry. Twenty-three. Okay, so yeah, you man, you just shoot over it and you just does like. Pots and bowls and stuff on that table. Pots? <laughs> and you just, uh, <laughs> you crack a clay plate and you hear the noise and it it sparks a memory in your head. The noise just catches you. Oh! Um, did I end your turn? Ends my turn. Well, I say Fenrir, come here. Right, okay. Fenrir doing anything else on his turn? No, he's just coming here. Okay. That brings us to the red brand who is just in a rage because he just got mocked and he's on fire and he just flips the, the chain out of his way and he's I've just... I've also asked him if he's alright, by the way, just to let you know. I'm gonna kill that cunt! Whoa! And he's just Whoa. gonna... Make a beeline straight for Arno who insulted him. Yeah. Um, he's gonna swipe at you with his two short swords. First one. That's a 20 to hit. <laughs> You're dead. Uh, no. Oh, no, wait, yeah. I, uh... That's a dirty 20. And the next one's a 22 to hit. <laughs> Oh no, that one doesn't it? So for the first one, you take eight points of piercing damage as he stabs at you and just stabs into like just where your hip is, uh, just misses the like soft bits 
The next one. Fucking hell, mate. I'm really sorry. I just rolled max damage on both of them. Um, you take another eight points of piercing damage. Flashing damage, yeah. sorry. And oh, so this what? one, he just Why swipes you across your chest. I took one. You should be full health, by the way. No, he took one hit point of damage. Oh, yeah, right. when, I, when I fell, trying to hold the door yeah. shut. Oh, right, okay, okay, okay. Because, you know, I'm fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, you're almost dead. Yeah. That ends his turn. Um, the... Sorry. Um... How far away from these people are we? Yeah, you're standing like right next to one of the ones that's on fire. Right. Not uh, the one that just moved away. No, no, the one that moved away was over in the corner. He was like 10 foot away from you. Cool, 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 cool. This guy's going to make a beeline straight for Nickit because he would have had a sight line on seeing where the Molotov came from. And he's going to make an attack on Nickit. Anyone, uh -oh. anyone calling that? That's a natural one, would you say? <laughs> That's, yeah. I think he should set himself on fire. He's going to cut his dick off. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to lose. Is, is the guy still on fire? See if he fucking hits me instead. That's right, fuck. No, no, right. No. No. <laughs> no. Really what needs to happen here is as he unsheathes his fucking sword, he's forgotten he that his the, fire, the fire has... Uh, completely melted his uh, trousers, so he's just going to cut his dick off as he pulls it out too quick. Well, it's... Oh, is it even? Does it know? Uh, so yeah. Even, dick off, and then odds he drops his weapon. Yeah. Well, no, I'm going to do... Evens, he hurts himself and loses his weapon. Cuts his and dick off. Odd, he hurts his pal that's right next to him. Okay. I think that's the So as this guy like is running up to Nick it, he's still like singed and you still see the embers like kinda of just coming off him as he's running. And uh, he goes to reach for his sword and the metal pommel is just you hear him let out like a scream as the metal pommel comes out. And as he pulls it from the, the sheath, it flies across. Arno, you have a moment of like, that's coming for me. As it just collides with this red brand that's in front of your shoulder. And then smashes into the wall behind you and lands. The red brand takes another six points of damage. Um, The one who burnt himself takes four points of damage. Oh no, he's the one that didn't get any. Um, and that ends his turn. He's just holding his hand. And in that moment, he just doesn't know what to do. That brings us to Thybrush. Okay. I... Do we get any advantage because we're like, we've deceived them into why we're there? Uh, technically, they don't know the use. You and highly in our hostile. Right. So is that a yes or a no for the advantage on the uh, Yeah, be a stealth attack. Yeah. A sneak attack. So I'm going to hit this one that's uh, right next to me. Just stealth. hit him with a fucking ra rapier. Oh my god, my rolls are shit. Eight would miss. Or do you get an advantage? Get advantage. advantage. Yeah. Two. What the fuck man? Getting all these shit rolls. Um okay, so that misses uh, yeah, that I'll misses. Use my dagger. That's 20. 20 hits. 20. Oh, you've got advantage, so... Try getting that 20 on you. Oh, fuck it. Oh, I've hit the wrong one. Can you ignore that, please? Yes. Nah, 8. So that is a 20. 20 hits. Roll and damage the on the dagger. Damage. Fucking two plus my two d six. Two six. Can we not ignore the first one? Can we go back to the other six? That was done? No. <laughs> two d six. So that's seven extra damage. Oh my god! I forgot how to do maths. Yeah, uh, that guy's looking like pretty dishevelled. He's looking pretty beat up. He's burned across, and um, I know he's just bleeding. 
profusely from his chest. That ends your turn? That ends my turn, I think, yeah. That brings us to that red brand who, after seeing you, he looks enraged and he's just going to take both his short swords out of their sheaths, like across his body, and just uh -huh. take a slice up towards okay. you. That's a 20. Uh, so, with my shield uh, spell, that does not hit. Okay. Cool. So, you, as that's coming, you. Do a quick magical flurry with your hands and you just see a spark of the sword hitting nothing and it just sends it one of the swords wide as his other sword comes in. That's a natural 20. Well, so that will hit me. So that's 8 plus... That's 9 points. 9 points of slashing damage as that just comes across you. As you just like one in your magical flurry, the other one just comes, careens with the arm, slashes right down your arm. Dang. Um, that brings us to Nick it. So the... There's one attack on you, what, yeah. Two short swords. Cool. So What's shit? Oh, sorry, I had the, I had the wrong, I had the quick roll rather than the actions, sorry. So for the first hits, 18. 18 hits. And the second shot sword. 23. Both of them hit, roll your damage. Yeah, um, <laughs> You would get sneak attack damage on this because Arno is technically in range as well. So I've got seven for the first attack. Uh, five for the second attack. And you want me to do sneak attack damage as well? Wait. You said seven for the first one and five for the next one? I'm seeing eight. Sorry, seven and eight. Sorry, sorry. Well, sorry, I forgot to add the plus three. So no. 15 points of damage. And do you want me to do the 2d6 for sneak attack? Or... Uh, yeah. Cool. You get it. So 20 points of damage altogether. Okay. Tell, me oh, where you, tell me where you were aiming. Just aim for the guy's gut with the disabow. Okay, cool. So you, with your first short sword, you take a swipe across this guy's belly and you see like his intestines just kind of bulge out and with your second short sword you stab downwards and grab the blade at the bottom and just pull and you just watch all of his entrails just pour out. Oh. And uh... He's, he's gone. No coming back from that. No. What one was that? Was that yeah, this one or last one? The one right in front of me. Yeah, that was the one right in front. Hi. Um, that brings us to the red brand who has just witnessed you disembowel his pal. And he's gonna he's gonna there's, make a run. There's just a hobbit there's just a half wing covered in viscera. Yeah, he's just covered yeah. He's just covered currently in climbing blood. up on with knives. <laughs> And he's just gonna take a run at you, um, and attack you with both his short swords. So nine plus four, thirteen. Does does t does uh, does Arnold not technically get a attack opportunity because he's disengaging combat with him? No, 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 no. It's the guy at the back. Sorry, I'll just do this. This guy. Ah. Uh -huh. That guy's making a run. Did he get set in fire, this guy? Well, what just happened to OBS? Yes. There you go. It's because I accidentally minimised this. I've moved my OBS on and off screen so I can see all the initiative and... Very complicated, man. So, was he within five feet of me where you just moved? No, he was on the opposite side, opposite side of the table from me. Mm-hmm, okay. Um, he's going to make... A uh, 13, does that hit, Nicket? No, that's... Second short sword... Both of them miss as he's just in a rage and he's swigging at you and you're just ducking out of the way of the blades. Um, that ends his turn. That brings us to Arno. 
I'm just gonna say I'm sorry if you can hear all in the background. He's on the couch. He wants down, so he's moaning. I think he's gonna okay. all dog yodeling. It's just been yeah. He's yodeling <laughs> in the fight. He doesn't um, bark. He just yodels. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna try. Oh fuck! Can't do that either. Oh, this is a fucking kick mass. Alright, fuck it. I'm about to see if I can get through the door. Behind you? Yep. Oh, it's an attack of opportunity. Though. I know, but like, he's got to tap me out of the rain. Why don't you just heal yourself? Because, like, I can't heal myself enough that it would actually do any good. But I'm an ex after you. Cough, cough. Aye, stop that metagaming shit. Yeah, I'm going to I'm try to get through the door. Right, okay. Um, he's going to make his attack. Yeah. On you. Oh no, Arnold's dead. That's a 21 to hit. Are you fucking... Why did you roll that as Dells? It's not me. 20, a natural 20 just hit me there, and a 21. Is D&D no, beyond? Is D&D beyond? It's D&D beyond. Oh, was right, and then he's lit. He's... <laughs> Three points of slashing damage across your back as you just managed to get this door open. How are you? Right. I get through the door. Are you, are you up? Yeah. Okay, so oh. move your guy to where you're where you're running to. Um. Wait, I'm just gonna go there. I'm assuming does the door open outwards towards me or in towards the? In towards the corridor. Right, so open towards you. Yeah. Aye. Right, I'm gonna look. Just, oh fuck, no, I'm just going to run. <laughs> I'm going to run to here and shut that door. Okay, that opened in towards that room. That's fine. And then I'll shut the door behind me. Okay. That uh, end, end your turn? No. I haven't done anything. Oh yeah, really? Uh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm going to take a potion of healing. Right. Okay. Oh no. So that's seven points back. That's not bad. Um, and then I'm going to cast Healing Word to myself. Right. So that's six back. Okay. So you're feeling a wee and... bit more human. Um... And then I just flip. Sit down and just like <laughs> lean against the door. <laughs> just rocked. Yeah. That brings us to Hylian. Right, okay. Uh, I am going to. attack the guy that was attacking Arno. Okay. Uh, with my longbow. With my longbow. I'm assuming. Because they still think I'm I'm a, a friend. Yeah, you'll still get right. advantage. Yep. So I'm going to do my first roll, which was a sixteen, and my second roll, which was a sixteen. Uh, I can't believe you rolled a nine and still got a sixteen. <laughs> well, that's that's uh, that's it. Well, actually, I could have added a plus two because of uh, because of my. My gloom stalker us, but it's fine. Uh, I'm going. To, actually, I'm going to add the plus two to make it. It has. It, it has even, anyway. You don't need to do that. Even I'm just doing it anyway, right? Um, because I get to add an extra one d8 of damage on my right, next okay. weapon. Yeah, so Ooh. this will be there. Uh, I'm going to do damage. Well, I needed to add it because that's a four, and then add one d8. So that's nine points of damage on that dude that I've got highlighted here. Where are you aiming? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim just like to, towards the his back to pierce his heart. Oh, this wee tiny fucking. Like this wee tiny fly that's to fucking do my boxing. 
Uh, anyway, and then uh, th then just before the combat ends, I'm going to tell Fenra to attack the guy next to him. So Fenra rip his fucking head off. Okay, so you take aim, you loose your arrow. Nicky, you see this arrow just protrude yeah. from his from his chest, right. and the guy falls to his knees, and you, he looks up at you and growls as he snaps the head of the arrow off, and then he just falls down and slumps. He's out of there. And then Fenrir, roll your attack for Fenrir on the other, other guy. So, just I need to look at Fenrir again. So, it's a, it's a plus four to attack. No, no, plus four to hit. Yep. So, I do a nat 20 add plus four. We'll see if you get a nat 20, but I just roll a d20. Oh, so, d20, 11 plus four is 15. Messies. He misses, fuck off. Fenrir doesn't miss. We talking about in chat. Everybody in chat, does Fenrir miss? I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't bring chat into this. So Fenrir, like, growls and takes off at this guy, and he just manages to, like, just pull his sword around, and um, Fenrir slams into the table behind. Um, not getting his attack off. Uh, that brings us to... Nope, he's dead. That brings us to Thybrush. I would like to, again, just fucking scud the guy that's beside me. So how many red bands are left? Three? Two. Two. Yep, I'm just gonna give it the old fucking one-two punch. Rapier is uh, 20. That's... Ooh. And that is... Um... Eight, nine damage. Uh, where are you aiming? Oh, um, I want to cut his head off. <laughs> I would like to. He I would like... wear him like a okay. mask. Okay. Okay. I'd like to cut his head off. So you, like, seeing all this commotion happening on the other side of the room, this guy's almost kind of distracted, and he turns around to look over to see how his friends are getting on. And as you see the shock in his face of his friends lying there, one's lying disembowelled. One's lying holding the head of an arrow as he's just bleeding out on the floor. You just take your rapier and both hands holding your dagger in that hand, just stabilizing the rapier. You just swing straight across and cleave his head straight off. But his head just stays on his neck and just rocks back and forth and then falls to the ground. Okay, so I've got my my second, my two armed fight. Well, your two, two weapon fighting, fighting, yeah, you've got your attack with your dagger. So I'm in two minds of uh, throwing my dagger. Because I'll also get my sneak attack on that as well. Uh, oh, no, because he's no, I won't because it's not advantage. No, you would because Nick is still. Nick oh, is yeah. Nick is fighting him. So, um, if I was to kick that flayed head at him, <laughs> and yes. then use could I use my sneak damage on that as well? My two d six. So uh, would it be like a was that bludgeoning or what would it be? It would be bludgeoning damage. Would be an improvised weapon, which would probably be like. I'll give you a d6 with no bonuses, right. just a straight d6. So it'll be 3d6 damage you're running if you manage to kick it at him. So just give me a straight dex. D d uh, d20 or dex? Yeah, just a, a dex check. Yeah, you can add your uh, bonus. Ah, oh, fuck off. That's a 6. <laughs> Miss it. You've technically got advantage because Nicka is fighting him. Okay, yeah, okay. I'll, fight. I'll roll again. That would be a 12. Still misses, wouldn't it? Yeah. With the, the, the shine, the blood on the floor, you're just kind of sliding about. You can't quite get purchased. And you kick it, and it just smashes into the plates behind, and the some of the plates smash highly, and you have a moment of just, that sounds like fun. So, oh. <laughs> with this, with my sneak attack, oh, so I need to actually yeah, do the it, damage yeah. first, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. You're really bad. I feel like you're, you're having bad rolls. Oh, I'm having terrible rolls tonight, but it's okay. Still cut a guy's head off. <laughs> um, that brings us to the red brand that is currently in front of Nicket. Who, seeing all this happen, he is just going to try and grab Nicket and throw him to the side. So, Nicket, I need a strength check. Oh. 
12. Okay. So as this guy just grabs you and grapples you, he lifts you up and your legs are kicking. I wouldn't get a reaction attack with her. Eh, uh, you will. <laughs> as as you're getting thrown out of his range, you will. Cool. Um, he just turns and he throws you to the side. You're flying through the air. What are you doing? Just as you're like, let, he lets go of you. Just wildly swipe him with my, my short sword. Okay, roll my attack. Ah, okay. uh, ten. I'm just gonna move these guys off to the side just so I can actually get to nick it. I did make my character a little bit bigger. Ten misses, so as he throws you, you turn back and you swipe and you just miss and he throws you over to here and you just smash into the barrels behind to Three points of damage as you land and you just crack your head in and this red brand is just going to take off through here. One, two, three, four. And he's going to get to this door and he's going to try yeah. and push his way inside and I'm assuming you're pushed up against the back of this door. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's going to get stabbed through the door again. Give me a, yeah. give me a, <laughs> give me a you're strength. Dead. You're straight up dead. Give me a strength check, as this guy's just running, he's going shoulder first through this door. That's a two for a one. Have you updated the D&D Beyond to see how much health you've got? Yeah. It doesn't show up on the overlay, that's why there's no, a No, there's a lag with overlay. <laughs> I should just test up against this door, not expecting it. This... Red Brand just comes through and just shoulder barges this door, throws you into the side of that bed. Oh no. Oh dear. You say three points of bludgeoning damage, you just slammed from the door, slammed into the bed, and this Red Brand just bursts into the room. Um, Ending his turn. Nick it, you're up. You just get thrown. I'm not, I'm not prone, am I? No. Like, you just landed against the barrels because your height. So he's he's ran. I'm assuming he's just burst through these doors. So these yeah. doors are still open. Yeah, he's just burst down towards where Arno is. I. Hey Arno, you're next to the other bed. That's four. Yeah, yeah. So you're is here. That, is that red branch still next to that? Yeah, he's still next to that door. That's okay. So I'm going to stand here. Would I have a clean line of sight of the red brand? Uh, yes. I'm going to take even more crossbow. What are you two? That's... Ooh. Child. 11 points of damage. You'll love to see it. Plus your sneak attack. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Kenny. Hey, fuck it, I'm flipped. And she's away from his face. You're getting sneak attack. <laughs> Where are you aiming? Aiming right. just like his butthole. The face of the neck, <laughs> both the spine connects to the skull, so just like the bolt comes through his mouth. Oh. And knocks the teeth out. Well, that's violent. Um, oh no, I'll just tell this from your perspective. You're just crouched next to this bed, pinned against the door, you just look over and you see this red brand, and he's just like panicked, looking panic stricken across his face. As you see this arrow just protrude out of this red brand's mouth and as he falls forward the arrow, you hear the noise of the flint tip hit the concrete floor and you watch as two of his front teeth are just tied out and they just scattered out in front of him and then he just starts bleeding from his mouth. Bonus action, I just screwed in the corner. You're welcome! Hmm. I just like peek around like Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I kick the door closed. No, the door opens outwards, doesn't it? I don't know how um, 
how useful it is to what's actually happening, but I'd like to think that in this entire time, Droop the Goblin is still dancing to yeah. this <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's I'll singing. Keep dancing. Keep I've dancing. been thinking that for ages. <laughs> like, as you, you look over and you see, he's like, he's got the, the, an entire, like, he's terrified and his knees are trembling, but he just doesn't know if he's allowed to stop. You see that he's already <laughs> peed down his leg, it's I on top of the barrel, yeah, and he's yeah. just like... Okay, um, let's get to looting then. Sure. Roll me an investigations. I'll investigate the disembowled one. I'll get the guy that's Fuck deep in me. front of me. <laughs> My rolls are absolutely awful tonight. That's, that's a nat 20 for a 26. Nat 20? Yeah. yeah. Where the fuck has that been? A natural 20. <laughs> uh, it's always when you at least want them. Sorry, right, let me look at this. What am I looking at? Eye brush, you find... A fucking bit of muck. Like... <laughs> pocket you, lint. A as stone you're, tangled. You're looking, <laughs> as you're looking around the room, you find like... Roughly... Like 70 copper pieces. Um, 52 silver pieces and 5 gold pieces. That's what I take? Yeah, that's what you find. I'm only seeing, 5? Jesus I'm, Jesus. Yeah, I'm only seeing like, I'm just taking this as a group oh, investigation right, so check. Old. Yeah, I'm just uh, doing this one as a group. You're just checking okay, okay, the... Okay, okay, okay. Oh well, take uh, Arno's role then. Well, Arno, Arno, you find... Um... Did Arno kill the guy in the bottom? Arno yeah. finds the potion that kills the one-eyed monster. <laughs> the entire thing. And an escape rope. No, I don't, no. An escape, escape rope. rope. Uh -huh. An ex, a, a repel as well. And a bag of many things. The uh, the weak point of the wizard written on a wee bit of paper. <laughs> I assume it'll be his glass staff. Does it sound the sturdiest? Oh no, you Wait. find um, a set of gold earrings with tiny ruby um, jewels in them. For your best estimations, you reckon they're worth 30 gold pieces. Oh, ho, ho. Um, You'll be splitting that with us, or no? <laughs> as Hylian just jingles his gold earrings. Uh, as... Can I see those earrings for a second, just to see if they make a yeah, nice enough upgrade? You know, in my, in my room, but I bring the earrings and I give them to Nick it. Oh, for saving his life? Yeah. But only one. Only give him one. Oh, hold on a like... second. I shot the guy with an arrow to the neck in front of you and he fell down and you're you're wanting to give it to Nick it? I wasn't in the room. You know, you were in the room when this happened. No, I was in another room. No, the first guy, yeah, I think Hillian's talking about um, the arrow out of his chest. No, okay, he, shot, he killed the guy that... Attacked me as I left. I I, I killed I killed two mm. people. I've saved your life twice today, and this is how you repay me. <laughs> Nick, are you? you? Well, I give Nick one earring, and I give Hillian one earring. I, I, no, no. I look at I look at him right now. I look at him. You look at you dead in the eye. I look you dead in the eye, and I go. I can't believe we've been through all this together, and you're gonna give that wee halfling dwarf thing that earring. Yes. Do you know what? And I, and I go over to the side of the room where all the pots and that smash and have a wee look on the ground just to see if I see anything. Did I see anything? Um, you find a, a red stone. Right. Found where the, the pots are smashed. What the fuck, Daddy? Found something. Uh, you find a, an iron key. Now you're saying a red stone. Go, is, 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 it a, is it a gem stone? Or is it just a stone? It's uh, vaguely translucent. It wouldn't can be I, gem quality. Can I look? Can I investigate to see if it does anything else? Sure. So investigation. Yeah. Well, that would be a six. It's a stone. It's a stone. I'm it gonna feels, put it in my it pocket. Feels like a stone. You bounce it off the wall. It acts like a stone. Tastes well, actually, like I'm, a stone. I'm going to come. I'm going to come over to everybody and be like, "Guys, do you know what this is?" 
Do you want me to? Okay, anybody, it, anybody, to see if they can, they can, they can help me here. Come on. Well, I can do it because I've got that plus four thing. I can do as well, right? Okay. Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to waste any of my magical energy finding right. out what that is right now. Right. Well, anybody else that can help me, just. I'll now. use Sentinel's in intuition, right? Would you want me to do insight or perception? It would be an investigation. Oh, an investigation. investigation. Right. Well, you can God. toss that D four extra out the fucking window. Right. Twenty one. Twenty one. There we go. You take it and you you look at it. You tap it on the the table. And you hold up. You hold up the light, and then you hand it back to him. And you go, "That's a stone, mate." <laughs> My only good fucking roll I've had all night <laughs> on your stone. And I go, appreciate it, mate. Right. I'm gonna say to the group, um, we've killed four. Droop said that there was nine. So red only ran. five left. I think we've only well, five left. It might only be three. Depends if you include the two at the door. Oh yeah. So should we say just for argument's sake that at the moment we think there might be five, but possibly only three. But yeah. you guys, I need to just you are forgetting about the wizard. So Six. let's uh, and the fucking one eyed monster and the one eyed monster and the skeletons and the skeletons, but they shouldn't but, have touched us because we've got red cloaks on. Yeah. Yep. Right, see from this point on, I think we should just start kicking fucking doors open and just slaying. I, like no, I think what we should do is what the plan was originally, but we take advantage of them distracted and attack. Can we Are get we the. Normal, so we send the goblin through and we attack every time? Yes. Yes. Cool, every time we find a door, get the goblin in. Talk I'm also, I'm also going to turn around to Droop and say to him, is it Droop? Droop? Yep. Droop, yeah. Droop. I say, Drew, listen, we were fighting there. You could have joined in. I was just told to dance. Right, well, next time when we're done. And you've done that job immaculately, Drew. Can we yeah, get a round of applause for Drew? Yeah. It, it tastes like a kind of half hearted bow. Just. Fantastic. Now, listen, next time we're in combat, if you see us fighting, help us kill whoever we're fighting, okay? Help. Any chance help. we can take a short rest in here? I'm not All good right, at fighting. Good. We need to maybe you move the barrels in front of the doors. Yeah, well, we need. Or do we head back to? Do we head back to the bugbear room? There's beds can... there. A well rest. I I don't think so, honestly. How are you? How are you for? How are you feeling just now? Give me an idea. Wait a minute. About fifty fifty. I feel I've, I've been better, but I 50, feel like I'm, I'm not ready for another fight. I was very subtle, Kenny, I'm impressed. You're feeling 50-50. <laughs> right, what about, what about so, so. thigh brush? How are you feeling, bud? Yeah, I'm okay, but I, I had a... Uh... Potion. We've all got potions. No, I don't have any potions. You guys have got potions. A healing potion? Yes, you do. You, you Nick, it should potion. have a healing potion. There was a bone of contention, Nick, it, that you took <laughs> yes. a fucking potion. Right, I'm giving my, my health potion to potion. Uh, Arno. No, you need it. No, no, no. You've got like three or four of them for a shop. Yeah, but they've never got to be there. Th I don't know if you've looked at your health recently, oh, but I, have I do think my health, you need it. But, but Arnold, what's your health at? 14. Oh, well, fuck, fuck you fuck. then. I'll take it myself. <laughs> it's not fucking 14. What's it at? It's at 11 out of 21. Right, right well, oh. stop you, reading the wrong sheet. <laughs> you've got, you've, listen, you've got a potion. Now take it. Who's got a potion? I thought you had a potion. Aye, I took it. <laughs> Right, well, get 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 a potion off of Nicket. Nicket's got a potion for you. I've got a potion. We gave Nicket a potion. He's lost it somewhere. Oh, for fuck's sake! Right, take my yeah, potion of vitality. Our yeah. They weren't yeah. Out. Hold they on were a second. Out. And right, Stop just out of game. Just out of game. For anyone that didn't watch last week, what Arno was talking about is the fact that they had a full argument with Nicket over the fact that he doesn't have any healing spells. <laughs> Yeah, and that's why he should potion. take a healing potion. And he's the fucking potion already. Nick, it, already, why do we take you anywhere, Nick? It's just sitting Honestly, on the, why are you here? It's just sitting on the table next to his bed back in the tavern. <laughs> right, listen. I'll, I'll know, seeing as you're the lowest, I'm going to give you the potion of vitality I found. Right? Okay. The potion of vitality removes any exhaustion, suffers from cures, diseases, or poison that affect you. For the next 24 hours, you... you for the next 24 hours, you regain... Oh, wait a minute, that doesn't sound very good. No. <laughs> you, re re you 
for, oh no, for the next 24 hours, sorry, you don't, you, it removes anything. And then it says, comma, you regain the, the maximum amount of hit points uh, for any die you spend. Yeah, so I should still need to take a short rest. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, for any hit die you spend. So when we take a short rest and I take, if I have to roll a hit die, I would get max. All right, so you're not taking that. I'm going to keep it then. Yeah, so, uh, like that's no. Actually, no. I can short rest and get full health. You take this potion. Just take the fucking potion. But we'll take a would... short rest. We can take a short rest anyway. Aye, right, but you can't fully re regain health in the short time. Aye, I can. How can you? Because I roll hit dice. Right, well, this one's going to give you the maximum number to make sure you get the maximum number. So fucking take the can, potion. Can Fenrir run back to the like the tavern? <laughs> Grab my no, Fenrir's. Uh, listen, listen. <laughs> Fenrir's not doing that. Fenrir's not, not, not compensating for your absolute, wait, absolute wait, stupidity. Barry, what? See, you just been here. Yeah. Also, can I, can yeah, I just? I've, I've genuinely, we are literally, I've watched us lose four viewers in this fucking chat. Yeah. <laughs> also, can I just, can I just, can we just stop? Right. You take the potion. Right, okay. If I do the short rest, you're gonna gain even more because you'll get maximum hit points. You don't need to roll. You whatever you decide to roll, you go, you'll get it max. Okay? Right, okay. There's a potion. Drink up. Let's let's barricade the room. Right? I'm putting barrels at the bottom door and at the top door. Yeah? Oh wait, I don't need to take it. Oh for fuck it. Apparently I've got a thing that I can just recover my maximum health points in a short rest. I can only do it once. Right, we're fucking taking a short rest. I'm pressing right. the button. I, honestly, that's enough. There we go. Cool. Right. <laughs> Hit die 1d8 plus 1. Oh, no, wait a minute. Short rest. Recover. Right, I'm just going to fucking do that. Recover. Confirm. <laughs> no, it turns out recover doesn't do what we think it does. <laughs> well, I'm taking another short rest. <laughs> 1d8 plus 1. And I can do it a total of three times. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Oh. Two. Right, it's a three. <laughs> That's my first one. Right, see, before we do the short rest, can I cast can I cast Cure Wounds on, on two of the people that need it? Right there. I've done two. Right. Before we... I've had to do all three to no, get my stop, stop for a second, guys. Before we take the short rest, I'm no, just no, 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 they've already taken it. Oh, you're 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 honestly, done. you're miles away. You're so far ahead of me. Doesn't it matter? <laughs> oh, jeez. Right. We we'll, we'll wake up now. We're all fine. Let's go. <laughs> right. I'm fucking taking that door that's at the, that I'm standing next to. I'm removing the barrels. I'm putting it in, and I'm just opening the next one, and I'm looking in. Okay. Um, so this room appears to be a wizard's workshop. Um, as you boot the door and you walk in, you see a rat scurry across the floor. He takes refuge on the left-hand side of there, like under the tables. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to um, offer him a cracker and see if he'll come back to me. Nothing happens. Okay, Doesn't come back. Then. Kill it with a fucking brick. Um, <laughs> the, the um, all... Investigate the room. Sure. Um, as you look around, you see like various tubes, things bubbling away and boiling. Um, books, the books, bookshelves are just covered and crowded with sheaves of parchment and strange looking tomes. Can I look for anything that would uh, give somebody a good singing voice? Are you going to attack that um, that rat first? No, I'm not going to hit my brick hand. I was being silly. Um can I have a look around and see if there's anything I would take to be potentially magic? Yeah, roll an investigation. See, well, I'm rolling an investigation yeah. as well to try and find my fucking book on singing. Yeah, that's a seven. Could I investigate, like, could I investigate, like the bubbling, like, potions, like, to see if there's anything, like, worth taking, like, if I can identify what they are? Uh, I rolled 18, by the way, just so you know. But Okay, um, so as you're looking around, you see that most of that stuff is all um, of alchemical in nature. So it's mostly recipes and tomes like that. There's nothing actually about spells or 
magic as such, it's more just potions um, and all the parchments and books. Um, Nick, it, you find three glass vials that have been separated from the rest of the um, things that are on the table. Um, give me a give me an intelligence check. See if you'd know what they are. Eighteen. Eighteen? Okay, so you can identify these. Um, one of them is filled with mercury. You can see that from the silver sheen as you turn it. Another one is filled with something called dragon bile. And another another one is filled with powdered nightshade. Powdered nightshade? Yes. What is dragon's bile? Is it just something that's called or? It's just called Dragon's Bile. And I'm assuming these are all glass. Yes. Right, so we've not really found anything else. Uh, can I talk to... I'll ask ask the rat, seeing as we've fucking spoken to so many things. What are you doing in here, rat? See if it understands me. Just it, it looks up at you and, and squeaks and then kind of cowers underneath the table again. I'm going to ask Squawkins if he... Squawkins, do you understand that parrot? Oh, nope. that fucking rat! No, that's a shame. What about like... a bit of bread out where it is from a rations? Um, as you throw the a little bit of bread out, it scurries out and picks it up in its little paws and just sits, starts munching away. Can I try and grab uh, it at that point? Yeah. Hey, right, give me a dexterity oh, check. Don't kill the rat. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna find kill it. Desperate... <laughs> just great interrogate it. Thank you. Twelve. Well, yeah, you managed to snatch it up and you're holding it in one hand. It's like you're trying to like, push off your hand and get away. Right, I'm going to give it to Nickett so Nickett's got a fucking sidekick. <laughs> Nickett, give me a dexterity check. See if you can hold on to it as it's passing hands. Nope, that's the five. So as, as Thibault just holds it out, you hold out your hand and he drops oh. it. It runs up your arm. Jumps up onto the table and it's just knocking down all this like glass tubes and vials everywhere and just still just shattering on the ground as it's just running away from you. 